Top 10 Destinations to Avoid in 2021 Our goal is to bring you some of the most amazing travel destinations and tips as you adventure around the globe. So do subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell icon to add amazing new places to your travel bucket list. Without any further delay, let's get started. Number 10. Hallstatt, Austria this tiny Austrian town is like something out of a dream or fantasy film. And in fact, it apparently served as inspiration for the fictional kingdom of Arendelle in Disney's hugely popular Frozen franchise. Hallstatt has always been a popular destination amongst travelers in the know, especially photographers. But in the wake of the massive success of the film, it's been consistently overrun with tourists during peak season. It now reportedly averages about 10,000 to 30,000 30,000 visitors on a given day. And while that figure might seem manageable by tourist industry standards, you need to remember that Hallstatt is only home to just over 750 residents. Tourism has not only tarnished the experience for every visitor, but has also significantly impacted the quality of life for locals, prompting the mayor to limit tour buses. Number nine, Faroe Islands. It's crazy how quickly things can change in the travel industry. In 2019, the Faroe Islands felt like this perfect little escape, a great destination for anyone looking to go off the beaten path heading into 2021. However, the inherent appeal of the Faroe Islands coupled with increased representation on social media has this Danish territory feeling overrun in 2016. The local Faroe Islands Tourism Board launched a brilliant marketing campaign and it proved infinitely more successful than anyone could have imagined. Flash forward a few years and this IT destination is closing itself off to visitors for one weekend a year so they can clean up and make improvements. The Faroe Islands are clearly doing everything they can to ensure that their tourist industry is a sustainable one, but with such success, overcrowding feels inevitable. Number eight, Lisbon, Portugal. Once considered the cool alternative to overcrowded Barcelona, Lisbon is now struggling with many of the same issues as its Spanish neighbor. The streets are packed with tourists to the point that during peak season, just navigating a popular neighborhood can get claustrophobic. The locals are starting to push back and their want for privacy and comfort in their own city is something we should all endeavor to respect. Don't get us wrong, Portugal is still a great country to consider for your 2021 travel plans and remains no Notably easy on the wallet compared to other Western European countries. We're just suggesting that you consider a less buzzworthy Portuguese city, like Aveto, which is being called the Venice of Portugal, or the fascinating city of Coimbra. Number seven, Santorini, Greece. Looking at photos of this Greek paradise, it's all too easy to imagine yourself living out your dream vacation there. Sadly, modern day Santorini feels unrecognizable compared to what it was just a few short decades ago because what the photos rarely show you are the hordes of tourists that pack the narrow streets. The iconic white buildings with blue accents remain and the views are as stunning as ever, but it's hard for Santorini's inherent magic to take effect when you're always waiting in line. And we're not talking about a line for a bathroom or a photo spot. No, in, in picturesque ear, you're likely to find yourself waiting in line just to keep walking forward as you simply attempt to explore the town. Sadly, Santorini isn't just crowded. It also feels like a victim of cultural erosion with tourist oriented business largely outnumbering authentic establishments. Number six, PP Islands, Thailand. Once upon a time, hard though it might be to believe, this destination was considered a hidden gem following its appearance in the 2000 Leonardo DiCaprio film, The Beach. However, it's become one of the hottest places to visit in Thailand. The entire area is absolutely breathtaking. Towering limestone cliffs and monoliths covered in greenery rise from the brilliant blue water, but the crowning gem of the PP Islands, Artu Beach, was closed in 2018 to allow the local environment time to to recover from the excess foot traffic. Unfortunately, two decades of overcrowding begins to take its toll on an environment. Even if Maya Beach reopens for 2021, we recommend giving the PP Islands as a whole a wide berth. It still looks like Paradise Shore, but only when there's no one there. 
Number five, Switzerland. Switzerland thankfully doesn't have an overgrown tourism problem, probably because most people can't afford it. Switzerland has many things going for it, chocolate, cheese, the Alps, and excellence in banking. Unfortunately, it's also a contender for the highest cost of living anywhere on the planet. While travelers are sure to leave with a newfound appreciation of the price of rent and groceries back home, they might also find themselves cutting their trips short from accommodations, to entertainment and food. Your hard-earned travel budget doesn't go nearly as far in this admittedly beautiful country. If you've recently won the lottery, by all means, go for it. But if for the average traveler, it's safe to say that you'll have a richer and longer travel experience should you make a more economical choice. Number four, Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary, USA. Scuba diving is one of the greatest, most eye-opening activities that one can partake in. While traveling, when you take the plunge and venture into a colorful underwater world, you're essentially getting two trips for the price of one. American diving enthusiasts are lucky because just off the southeast coast of the United States lies the third largest barrier reef in the world. Unfortunately, this incredible ecosystem is currently in a very precarious situation, facing a triple threat in the form of invasive species climate change, and pollution. Tourism dollars might help the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary do good work, but tourists also exacerbate the problem. In fact, for the sake of the reef's recovery, it's probably better to give all of the Florida Keys a break for a few years because the entire area is suffering from human and natural overactivity. Number three. Dubrovnik, Croatia. We know it's just like Game of Thrones, but unfortunately, Dubrovnik serving as a filming location for the popular show, coupled with the rise of social media influences, has made this city a veritable tourist magnet. And unfortunately, it would seem that the hordes of visitors descending upon what was previously the Mediterranean's best kept secret aren't retreating anytime soon. Croatia as a country has been overlooked for far too long. It deserves to benefit economically from this newfound international interest, but for their tourism industry to be a sustainable one, we as travelers need to spread out of it. Zagreb, though not as coastal a city, is arguably just as beautiful as Dubrovnik. Added Lachine and Vis are great alternatives for those who are in the market for a beach holiday. Number two, Kanpur, India. When people think of India from a travel perspective, at least there are typically three things that come to mind. Food, iconic structures, and crowds. As the largest city in the state of Uttar Pradesh, Kanpur checks all three boxes. The Sri Radha Krishna Temple and the Kanpur Zoological Park are just a few of the area's most popular attractions. Kanpur's greatest claim to fame, however, is its leather. It's long been the tannery capital of India. Being an industrial and manufacturing hub, Kanpur is also considered to be among the cities with the worst air quality anywhere in the world. In 2018, when the World Health Organization published its list of most polluted cities by particulate matter construction, Kanpur was number one. So while those leather and textile markets might be tempting, the overwhelming pollution is a strong argument for staying away. Number one, North Korea. The current trend in travel seems to be towards authentic, unique, and highly localized experiences. Fortunately, our increasingly interconnected, documented, and small world destinations that fit that description feel fewer and farther between, but North Korea certainly does fit the bill. The Hermit Kingdom has recently been opening itself up to tourism and attracting adventurous travelers who are anxious to explore one of the most insular nations on Earth. The thing is, not only is it incredibly risky to visit a country with such severe laws and poor international relations, but it also raises ethical dilemmas. Yes, cultural exchange between outsiders and the local people is a benefit to everyone, but North Korean defectors ask that travelers not support the country's tourism industry. This is because the government controls what visitors see and do, and as such, trips serve to spread propaganda and provide funds to a dictatorship that violates the human rights of its citizens. What do you think the worst travel destinations are? Which one would you like to test out most? Leave us a comment below and make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future travel videos. With that, I'll see you in the next video.